Servus, my name is May and I'm your host of this podcast. I want to invite you on this spiritual journey to find love and acceptance. The best way to find belonging is through connecting to your greatness. And the moment you start looking inward and taking responsibility for everything that is in your life, you will find empowerment in true belonging. You will be able to recognize wrong labels and boxes that are not suitable for you anymore. And you will be able to find out what your inner truth is. These readings are created to support your journey in finding your true self. If you like the podcast, please give it a five-star rating. This will give more people the opportunity to find us or share it with someone who will benefit off of it. Come join us in the Facebook group Messages from a Starseed to meet like-minded people and talk about the weekly energies. You can find the link in the show notes. And now I wish you a lot of fun with today's reading. Servus, hello, hola, and welcome everybody to this week's reading for the week with this week's messages. <laughs> um, we're moving from the full moon into a new moon this week, so we're going to be having a new moon on Friday um, on the 30th of August. That is going to be interesting as well. And we are going to have a portal day on August 31st and September 1st. So we're basically ending the week with special energies. But until then, we're, we still have a couple of days time to enjoy. Let's put it this way, in a soft way, not having two strong energies um, that surround us and that just deal with uh, to deal with right in general so this message is going to be for the week of uh, august 26th to september 1st we're gonna have for those of you tuning in through audio we're having the purple flower on the left side the rainbow colored flower in the center and the white flower on the right hand side for the personal messages um, if you t need some more time to check in with yourself, which one is going to be the one or the two or the three with your message, um, then pause the video or the audio. Otherwise, we'll just get started with the week's message. So let's see what where it's going to get started with. Oh, nice. So we're starting with Give Space to the Rainbow. I always um, see this card as a reminder that we are all different in our own way and unique way even though we're all one and the same but um, sometimes we all have different opinions which doesn't mean that we have to separate because of it so um, on one hand it's it's to remind us to see and allow other people's opinions Mm, but it's also to allow ourselves because sometimes it's ourselves that we we want want to make a change we would love to make a change we are seeing the change within us but we are maybe scared to do it because we think someone else is um, going to judge us very hard for it most of the time the people that we love are not going to judge us if we are fine with it so this is sort of also reminding you if you feel that you have to be or want to be different than other people um, or than your people in, around you because you just feel that that's more your inner truth, then it's a, it's basically a confirmation to that now is a good time to confirm to yourself that you want to maybe be a little bit, have a different opinion than anybody else in your surroundings or in your community let's see what the second card tells us mm -hmm. love the now is i think very mm, self-explanatory but it's all um i think to just say a couple words to that is um maybe there are things happening right now that um you don't like too much so mm, this is like uh, um, wants to tell you to, you know, be kind, be in love with whatever's happening right now. Um, but it's also it, it might also be that you are with your mind somewhere in the future or too much in the past. And this is this is trying to pull you back to, you know, come into the now because it, right now is where you can 
do most of it and, and really enjoy what you're having now, not not to find distraction in the future or in the past. And the third, oh, the third one is accept the illusion. We tend to to keep illusions up that are not our inner truth, our true true nature, our soul's purpose. And a lot of the trauma and drama that we have are illusions that we have made up for ourselves. Mm, and it's actually calling you to empower yourself that you have created those illusions. And if you accept that they are illusions, um, then for some of you, it's probably going to be easier to let go of those illusions. So really be mindful with yourself to see where you might be telling yourself something that just isn't yours anymore and that you can let go. So it's uh, calling you to let go a couple of things. So, and I think it's probably connected if we say give space to the rainbow. Um, to make because maybe you were not allowing yourself to do something or to be something and if you see that that judgment that you had on yourself was an illusion that you had created for yourself then in the now you can live out what you really your true nature so this is very I like it because this is actually confirm a confirmation for everybody who is going through changes um to allow yourself to be in those changes because it's always a two-sided you know on one hand we have it for other people but so, and sometimes it's easier to you know for example give space to the rainbow for other people than for ourselves but by doing that more for other people we're actually gaining momentum to give space for example to our own rainbow so that is it. Let's start with the personal messages. Let's get going with whoever chose the purple flower. Uh, and I think this one we've had in the past weeks. Acknowledge your inner strength. Acknowledge that you are strong and that you can do everything. And I like that it's right. You know, like how we see we've been seeing the connections with the cards laying one on top of the other. And in this case, it's give space to the rainbow. So it's. It, I'm I'm really I think that in this case it's about your inner strength allow yourself because something in your inner strength feels like it's going to be different than whatever is happening in your surrounding and this is really you know like it's giving you the go for it to you know be yourself and you know allow yourself to to let your inner glow come to the to the surface and really share it with others even though it might be different for people who in in your tribe you're still going to find a lot of people that are going to like it too oh and see this why this is before i'm show i'm going to show you this one this i feel that this one is preparing us for the new moon that we're going to have because it's time to let go of things you know whenever we're approaching a new moon it's a very good time to let go um if you know like it's it's a time yeah that where the moon actually supports us to let go and to release a lot of things and the card that we're having for the people with the rainbow colored flower is make room for it and that is basically you know like to to show you a, a different side of it because sometimes when we concentrate so much um, on letting go of things it feels like it's a lot of things that we have to let go um, but if you change the view on it and instead of seeing that you're letting go of something and and instead of that you see it as making room for something new it gives it a more positive attitude towards it in more positive energy so in this case it's for all those of you having the purple flower uh, the sorry the rainbow colored flower um really see where in your surroundings you can actually you know really make room for it so that you can make the space for something that wants to come into your life um let's see what we have here with the 
white flour oh interesting so we're having this this is another topic that we had last week um with the monkeys if you remember uh it's not my monkeys it's not my circus so um probably you are you know worrying a lot about things that might not you know like might not be in your responsibility because we tend to really you know be sad for so many other people and be worrisome for so many other people and by that often lose our own energy so this is this is really you know be in your energy um remind yourself see where are you worrying too much about other people's stuff um and i find it again it's very interesting to see that it's combined with the accept the illusion because maybe you feel like you have to do it for other people but they're not really expecting it from you you're going to notice the more and more you take care of yourself that um not everybody wants you to you know like um give them solutions for everything sometimes the only thing they need is just an ear that listens to them and that drains less of your time because you don't have to worry about it. You just you just have to be there, give them the space for the things that they're going through and support them by just, you know, just being there and listening to them. That's uh, often in times that is way more important than actually coming up with the solutions because everybody, as you, you might know, everybody has every solution that they're going to need for their challenges inside of them. And um when we take it away from them we're we're taking away parts of their own growth potential right so yeah so this is what we're gonna have for this week um of course having a special new moon and two portal days by the end of the week means i'm gonna be coming back and uh, with those bonuses for you guys to listen to um i'm really looking forward to this because i feel that these cards are telling us to you know dig deep again into our, our our inner truth and make space i like i always like when they're calling us to make space even though it was only for the people with the rainbow colored but i always find it important for us for everybody to remember that um the more we release the more we let go of things of our patterns of our fears the more we come back to our inner truth and the more we're going to notice where where we our divine self wants to create and you know open up for that and it's always good to make space for that okay so with this i want to leave you have a great week i hope you like the messages if you know of someone who might benefit off of them please forward it to them and um i'll hear you again on i think it's friday right yeah friday the 30th I'll hear you again on Friday well, when we're going to see what the new moon is going to send us. What kind of message we're going to be getting from the new moon. Until then, have a great time, everybody. Bye-bye.